And so the five components of the STAR model starts with strategy. And strategy is what we do. We are a school. We care for and educate young children. We offer parents peace of mind so that they can know that their school-aged child will have a safe and nurturing place to go after school. Where we play is defined by our different school locations. And of course, we know that winning has many facets, child learning, safety, nurturing. Those are all wins. However, we must remember that there are also businesses, um, things to consider in a preschool and a school. And if we don't get a high enough enrollment, we will not be able to make enough money to pay our expenses and we will close. Our structure, um, the structure of an organization is about the distribution of power and authority across a hierarchy. And so several of you have worked with me to create a new organizational chart that will hopefully redistribute some of the authority and give staff the flexibility they need to match the growth that we have seen over the past few years at TCA. I'm going to be showing you that organizational chart in just a moment. Processes refers to the information and decision making that happens in our organization. According to the surveys that we took, we're still weak in communication and our feedback. 10% of the responses regarding faculty relations and support suggested that the administration needs to do better at creating shared vision and team learning. Although 56% of the teachers said that collaboration is encouraged among teachers and staff, 7% said that they do not feel uh, respected and supported by the director and administrators. Rewards. This continues to be a struggle for Trinity Christian Academy and goes back to the strategy and structure. We will not be able to appropriately, appropriately compensate employees if we do not strengthen our structure and have enough resources to compensate employees adequately. Of course, we know that rewards are not always based on just finances. Um, for teachers, rewards come in a lot of different ways, including just a job well done and knowing that they have educated a young child. People, as we improve our reward system, we will attract a higher caliber of staff, and the training of staff continues to be critical and will increasingly be the standard by which staff are evaluated. So you can see that all of these areas on this STAR model work together to create um, a strong organization. Lateral processes are information and design processes that coordinate activities spread out across different organizational units. They provide mechanisms of decentralizing general management decisions. In our preschool, we have these lateral processes operating every day, and what we need to do as administrators is we've got to recognize these processes and then work to strengthen them. The first level are voluntary and informal groups. These are the classroom teachers working together in their classrooms and across the dividers. Informal groups are spontaneous. The teachers need to feel um, empowered to collaborate on lesson plans and ideas for parent communication and special activities, uh, possibly child behavior issues, and to be having other informal conversations. Now, I think that the voluntary and informal groups are possibly uh, right now working better than um, some of our other communication processes, but we still need to be working on encouraging that even more. Our e-communication has greatly improved this year, and I'm really proud about that as we use email and text messaging to communicate with parents and with teachers. Our website's also um, improved. It's still a work in process, but um, it should be a place where parents can go to find information and other parenting tools. This week we uploaded our summer daily calendar to the website, and this is the first time we've been this well prepared and able to communicate that well with current as well as prospective parents. So these lateral processes are going to be helping us not just internally but um, with our, uh, our vision for where we want to go and in getting uh, new students. Our formal groups are headed by our lead teachers and our age level teachers and these formal groups should benefit 
from the informal groups. Um, what the teachers and the parents discuss informally should be brought to the larger group to strengthen everyone's classrooms and the overall school communication. This is an area where we're going to be working on again more in the upcoming school year to strengthen our daily lesson plans and collaboration. And then finally, teacher meetings are the most formal group that we have at Trinity Christian Academy. In order to strengthen this formal group, we're going to begin um, rotating our campus directors. This is one of the things that has come out of our survey that we feel um, the teachers would have more benefit with having a variety of leadership giving um, input into their classes. And so we're going to be um, rotating the two uh, campus directors uh, uh, weekly so that we can have a, a larger uh, playing field and more collaboration. So as you know, we've been surveying our students, parents, and staff, and the purpose of these various surveys has been to give a variety of perspectives from all of the stakeholders. Remember, we're working in a system. The system will die if it becomes self-contained and doesn't have any input or output. So sometimes it's hard to get feedback, um, survey results that um, that are negative. I mean, it, nobody wants to hear that people think there's something wrong with you. However, we need to be willing to look at the areas where we're weak so that we can design systems to deal with these issues. And I want to briefly share some of the feedback um, from the surveys and determine how we'll use this information to continue our organizational assessment and design. The first group we surveyed are the children in our aftercare program. Overall, they had a strong approval response to the program. Let's look at number seven. I like coming here. According to the survey, the majority of the children in our program really do enjoy coming to aftercare. That is a great response. Good job, aftercare staff. However, we need to notice where the students graded us poorly. They don't feel that the adults in the program make it exciting and the program does not help them do better in school. After reviewing these results, we've started a new program called School Ambassadors and we're sending aftercare staff to the local schools where our children attend. This collaboration is helping us know how to effectively work with our students in the aftercare program and to give them a higher success rate at school. Our parent survey seems to follow the same patterns as the child surveys. Overall, parents are extremely happy with our school. The weaknesses involved in this, uh, revealed in this survey are concerned with our communication systems. Parents are telling us that they want to be more involved and have input into the program. This is a great thing. We need to work at communicating better with our parents. In our lateral processes, this is an area we need to strengthen. We should be having informal communication, e-communication, and more formal communication. As a response to the survey, we've developed our PI, Parents in Education program, and we've set up three parent nights in this spring to allow parents a chance to meet together, uh, to talk to the staff, and give input into the program. Our teacher survey was also revealing. We asked the teachers to grade themselves and we received a B. This means there is lots of room for growth. Other questions reveal that the staff are not always comfortable approaching an administrator. If you remember back to the beginning of this analysis, we talked about the five disciplines of a learning school and team learning and shared vision means that we must do better at working together to make the best school and workplace for our students, parents, and teachers. So this has been our structure and our organizational chart and as you can see we've been replicating a lot of the same processes on our different campuses and in our different organizations. Moving forward we're going to be changing the workflow process so that we have um, a better handle on what we're doing. We've been growing so fast we've got to make some changes. So the process is going to have some growing pains however we will not grow without making some of these hard but exciting changes. We will maintain our simple functional structure, however, we will decentralize. Um, as you can see here, we will have our workflow processes go from our operations and finance and fundraising up to our actual clients who are our children and our families. So this new org chart is going to um, help us as a business as well as a school, and from a business organizational viewpoint, we're still a single business, um, product-centric company, 
and it should be the goal of every employee to create the best possible experience for every child and every parent who attends our school. Our growth will come through an increase in children and through parent satisfaction. So we did a SWOT analysis a few weeks ago with together, and these are some of the things we came up with, that our strengths are that we're a Christian school, we get support from our church, we have a strong administrative team, uh, supportive families, uh, great training opportunities, and that we're able to be a low-cost, product-centric school. Our weaknesses are that we don't communicate always so well. We need better classroom supplies. Sometimes we have staff complacency, and we need to raise our staff compensation. Our opportunities, right now we've got beautiful renovated classrooms, our location is great, we can uh, get grants and our wages program. We need to do better with our marketing and collaborating with other schools. Our threats are, we've got low enrollment in one of our schools right now and we have other competition from schools in the area that are charging less. The community demographics can be a little bit difficult and we have sometimes a lack of qualified staff. And maybe even the Affordable Care Act is going to hurt us. So uh, finally, as managers, each one of us needs to understand and define our roles at TCA. In planning, we need to create a mental model of what we expect to accomplish, a roadmap of where we want to go and how we want to get there. We need to be strategic as we are reviewing the master plan, which is our five-year plan, and create, that's what's going to uh, create our shared vision and define our destiny. We need to be tactical. We've been breaking that master plan down into specific goals, and last week you were each given a specific assignment to help us with that. Operational for this us, this is about being flexible during this construction phase as we figure out the specific procedures or steps it's going to take to meet the goals. Organizing, how will we distribute our scarce resources to accomplish our goals? This is very practical and must be followed in order to get anything done. Leading, this is a huge area we're going to continually revisit how we connect with employees and our interpersonal relationships. We need to communicate in a motivational, inspiring way, and we need to be examples of willingness and flexibility to do whatever it takes to reach our organizational goals. And finally, in controlling, we need to evaluate the results against the plan. If the goals are not being met, then we will go back to the planning stage and take corrective action toward that goal. We're going to be reviewing performance goals for staff and be continually evaluating job performance to identify the difference between the standard set and performance. So let's review what we've learned tonight and where we will go after this. The purpose of this analysis was to step back from our school and look at it with the big picture in mind. Who are we? Who do we want to be? How will we get there? Each person, department, and stakeholder in our organization is important. Their feedback and ideas are important. In order to create a shared vision and become a learning organization, we need to consider our own personal growth and personal mastery, our communication with others, and remember that we are a part of a system. What each one of us does and how each department functions has an impact on every other part of the organization. We are a product-centric organization. Now that can sound impersonal, but our product is how well we care for and treat the children in our care. We need to be the best at what we do in order to grow our school and increase our resources. Finally, we each have a role to play in the management of our school and programs. We need to be strategic in our planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. We will continue meeting in a formal group as we map out our five-year strategic plan and our shorter-term goals. With each one of us joining together, we will make Trinity Christian Academy a school of excellence. Thank you for joining with me tonight, and I'm looking forward to working together in the future.